My name's Anna Isabel Garcia, and I've been a nurse at Santa Clara Valley Medical for 18 years. In the beginning, there was a lot of unknowns. Um, I work in the ER, so it's the epicenter of the pandemic during the virus. And because we had so many unknowns, it was really scary. We had really high anxiety levels. We didn't know what we were facing during that time. It was really hard, especially not allowing family members come in and watching a lot of patients die. That was the hardest part. It, it was almost as if we were gearing up for war. You know, we had, to, we had to cover ourselves completely from head to toe before we went into COVID rooms. And of course, in the ER, it's the unknown, right? You don't, we had to treat everyone as if they had the virus. I actually woke up one day and I felt like I was just hit by a bus. I felt achy, I didn't feel right. So I contacted my manager and said, I think I need a COVID test. And then when they called me and told me I had COVID, I started crying. I thought, oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. That's the first thing I thought. Because this, like I said, this was really early during the pandemic. And from there, it was just one event after another. I had pneumonia, I had, the, I had blood clots, I just didn't feel well. So if a COVID patient was really sick, it required a lot of our time in the room because we had to get a lot of blood work. We had to do treatments, breathing treatments, depending if they were put on ventilators in the ER. We had to, you know, just, it's a lot of um, treatment that went along with one COVID patient. It takes a lot of time. That was probably the hardest part because we're all, you know, we're, we're coming in the room in multiple layers. They can't see our faces. They can't touch our hands. When you're trained for so long to be there for your patients and now their family members can't be in the room with them and you're all geared up and then you know that they're probably not going to make it was really hard for us. Sure, of course we had, you know, people were scared, they were coming in, they wanted testing. Not only that, we also had our regular flow of patients, our chronically ill, and luckily on our half, I think it worked out smooth. We were able to treat patients, but it was still, like I said, a lot of unknowns and we just, we just did the best we could on a daily basis. Being a nurse is something that you just do. You go into nursing knowing that. You have a code of ethics for your patients. And when the pandemic started, we never doubted it. We talked about it amongst ourselves. We were anxious, but we knew that we had to keep moving forward. I never heard one nurse say, I'm gonna stop doing this. They, we just did it. You know, our anxiety level was high, our stress. We did get burnt out but we stuck together. And not only nurses, you know, our techs, our mucks, our janitors, everyone that just came together as a family. Uh, I just wanna say that, you know, just remember to thank the frontliners for everything that they've sacrificed. Anyone who worked during that hectic time and the unknown time, when people were staying home and they were getting up early to go to work and put their selves on the line. But also being a nurse, I know that I also am responsible for my patients and I love being a nurse and I wanted to continue caring for them. And that's why I'm still here doing what I do. This is what we, we went to school for, we're trained for. We are trained to provide care during a pandemic and that we are going to continue to do it regardless of what the unknowns are. We're going to be here for our community. 
My name is Anna Isabel Garcia. I'm a registered nurse and I am the backbone of Silicon Valley.